would you say divine truth is a new religion? And are you leading a new religion? Well, divine truth is not my truth. And because it's not my truth, and in fact, I believe it's God's truth, then it's been around infinitely. It's been around ever since God's been around, and I believe that God is infinite, so therefore I believe the divine truth itself has been around for the same infinite amount of time. In addition, because God is infinite in nature, that's what I currently believe, I also believe then that the truths I can discover are infinite in nature. So nobody could ever write a book about it one day and be right the next day, because at the end, end of the time period, there's going to need to be an adjustment as a person discovers more truth. So firstly, I do not believe God, divine truth is new. It is something that God has had forever, and I don't know how long or whether God, is, my feeling is God has had an infinite existence. So I believe divine truth has also existed infinitely in time and in space. So therefore, I feel quite strongly that divine truth is something that is not new, but very, very old. <laughs> But in addition to that, um, I'm not starting a new movement. Divine truth has been around, as I said, forever. And all I've done is discovered some more of it that people hadn't discovered until I came along. And I'm continuing to discover more of it as time goes on in my development with my relationship with God and my development of accepting the truth that God's already shown me. As a result of that, I get to find out more truth. And this process will continue forever, my, those are my feelings. It will continue forever. I will continue discovering more truth, more truth, more truth. Other people may, in fact, discover the truth before I do. And if that's the case, I will have to accept the truth that I've discovered. And I need to, do, to accept that if I want to continually grow my relationship with God. This is not a religious movement, because all religious movements, as I've described in other questions, all religious movements begin with mankind's ideas about God. This has not begun with mankind's idea about God. It's about God's transmission of God's ideas about God to man, which mm -hmm. is a very, very different focus. Mm -hmm. God has shown me through this communication, through this way that, that God showed me I needed to follow to discover God. God has shown me more and more truth about God and the universe and everything else. And, and God can do that with every single individual who has ever lived and who will ever live, who will ever live in the future. So, so what we need to understand is divine truth is not a religion. It is not a movement. It is, in fact, the truth of the universe. And all I am doing is sharing it with anybody who will listen. That's all I am doing. And I'm sharing only the portions I've discovered. And there are many other portions I am sure I'm yet to discover and so therefore, anything I currently share will need to be modified at some point in the future to accommodate the new truth. Mm. One thing that we need to understand is that we do not have a choice about how we worship God. God chooses how we worship God. Mankind thinks that they have a choice about how to worship God and God will accept all forms of worship. That is not true. And in fact, it's quite arrogant to assume that. It's almost like saying, I can force you into having a relationship with me on my terms. And that's not the case. We cannot force God into having a relationship with us on our terms. God has already created the terms through which we are going to have a relationship with him. The only choice that we have is whether we're going to accept those terms or not. The only choice we have is, are we going to have a relationship with God on his terms or not? That's the only choice that faces us. That is a part of the divine truth.